I'm going to share some uh, tips and tricks that I use to keep my high-end dividend account green. I've never shared these before, and uh, the things I'm doing to keep my account green. There's a couple tips and tricks I use that I want to share with you all today. First, we're going to look at the charts, and then we'll get into that. There's a mic, the tactical stock scalper. All right, all right. So uh, as you see here on SPY, we're, we're trying to see if we get a break above 440. We did indeed have that happen. Now, uh, will we have a continuation into Monday, Tuesday of next week and try to get up to this 445 and 450 level? We will have to see. We did not get the pullback I was expecting. And I think 99% of the market was expecting. And isn't that the way it works? Everyone is expecting one thing and the market does a complete opposite. Uh, one reason why it hasn't pulled back is because we had this, like we talked about Wednesday or Thursday, how we may not get the pullback is because we're having a correction through time here, basically a pullback through time. Um, you know, we just kind of chopped around in this 440-ish level to 435-ish level. Uh, we didn't really break out of it. We didn't break down until Friday when we broke above 440. So because we had a little correction through time here, the shorts are getting squeezed. And who knows how many puts and shorts are currently still in the market. Um, they may have replaced those levels to the 450 level. We'll have to see, but that is a major resistance there at 450 on SPY. As you can see here, it's been rejected from that level numerous times. So that is going to be a major level for us to watch. Maybe we don't get a true pullback until we get there. We will just have to wait and see. And it's also possible that uh, we break down from this 440 level and go back down to 435 and continue the chop. Let's look at SPY on a weekly So we had this major green candle last week and then this little bitty green candle right above it. We are just squeezing shorts and buyers are piling in. I mean, for bulls, it's a really good case uh, to break above this 440 level. It's looking more and more like we are going to get a higher low when this pulls back. And that's a great sign uh, for all bulls in the market heading into the course of uh, the rest of this year and the beginning of next year. We'll just have to see how it plays out. I still have money on the sidelines, still awaiting a pullback that will eventually come. Let's look at the cues. The cues really broke out, and it is up to its major resistance, much like uh, the major resistance on SPY is at 450, which we have not reached. The cues have reached their major resistance. We're at 3 80 and halting right there as you can see on a weekly time frame it's been sold off three times there let's get a closer look pull up cues on a daily totally broke out of this 375 range and we are on our way up to 380 as you see there it's been sold off so that is going to be a point of major resistance we're still looking for a pullback in the market, which has never come. But again, this Q's had a minor, as you see right there, a minor correction through time through that 370 and 375 level. It did get a dynamic move out. Will it come back down and test this trend line at 365? I would think so, or possibly 370 when we eventually pull back. Let's look at Tesla. And then I'm going to share with you how I keep my account green, which is beautiful no matter what happens. I've been doing really well. So Tesla has something possibly exciting going on here. There is a chance, okay, we have to wait. We need confirmation. There is a chance that we are forming a higher low, which is great for bulls. Now, this is not set in stone. We need confirmation. We need this to break out and get above the 230 level for sure to to get a higher high, but it's possible we are now forming a lower high, but it could obviously break down from here, go down to the $200 uh, dollar price tag, which coincides with the 200 period moving average in purple. Uh, SPY is still hanging on by a string. We are trying to see if we have an actual lower, a uh, higher low here, and we will see what happens next week. Uh, everything is looking really good in the markets still expecting a pullback which 
is not a big deal. I mean, honestly, you got to have them uh, in order to pick up buyers. That's a good IWM. IWM continues to hang out in this wonderful channel. You know, it's just a, a wonderful trading channel. What does this mean for IWM? Why and how its options react? I will uh, be interested to see that. Um, we look at here on the daily on IWM. It, it leapt up there, got rejected at the 50 period moving average around the $175 price tag, and has since fell off. Has found support around $167.50, where it gapped up there. I mean, it's almost looking like it wants to close this gap at 165. We'll have to see. Um, I was able to show you this. Like I talked about Friday, let's go to a smaller chart here. To really get this at 2015, which I think is a pretty good level to start out with on um, IWMY. We see here we can back out here. I mean, darn near um, as close as I could get to $20. Um, but I just got to start a position here. You see 20 shares at $20.00. And 15 cents. Now, I'm going to show you how I keep my account green. One of the ways I do it. Let's look at this TSLL and let's pull this up on a daily time frame. So, TSLL has been wonderful, and I need to thank Steve on Retire on Dividends Discord uh, for for turning me on to TSLL. Um, I did not realize how great the options premium has been. So, if you see there, I got 100 shares at 12.50. What I did was, when TSLL was getting rejected around the 14 area or so we had this gap down and then uh around a 13 dollar level i sold a 12 dollar and 50 cent put i got 30 dollars from that it was just a weekly which the premiums which i'm going to show you on this are fantastic so i sold the put so i got like 30 bucks from that and then once i got the put as you see tsll has gone down so I started selling calls. And some calls I made like 45 bucks a week. Some I made 60 bucks a week. It just depended on where I put them. Now, we had the rise up on um, Tesla. And of course, this follows Tesla really well. Um, got up there to the $13 level. I kind of held off on selling calls. And then as soon as it started dripping dripping, dropping down again, I started selling calls. Now, I have made over $300 in a month off of, uh, a month and a half off of this. Currently, let's look at the options. Currently, as you see there, I have a 17th of November. Let's go down to it. I am selling a call at $11, which my cost basis is $12.50, but I've made so much off of it, I'm fine. I went to chase yield. So if you see there, that's $1.10 to $1.20, which means $110 to $120 I made off of this that went directly into my account. So by selling these options on TSLL, my account has stayed green. There's another way. I keep my account green, which I have talked a lot about, and that is averaging down at appropriate support levels in bulk, keeping my lower cost, keeping my costs lower. So um, if the market drops next week, and Tesla in particular drops and gets below 11, I will still have my shares. I will have that 110, or I think I got it for 115, $115 premium. And uh, and I could still sell calls. If I get my, my shares called away, let's say it stays above 11, that's great. I'm just going to buy TSLL and continue to wheel this thing because it has been tremendous for me. This is not financial advice. This is just my journey, people. This is my tactical stock scalper out.